Cloudy skies, cool temperatures this first Saturday of 2021. And meteorologist Brian Ramsey here now for a look at what lies ahead. Yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff to talk about in this forecast. A winter storm on the way. Before we get there, we have some rain. And then, even tonight, even right now, we have some fog outside. So today, we saw temperatures getting in the mid to low 50s. So it was a little cold out there for some of you. Red Bluff, you only hit 50 degrees. As for the mountain regions, some of you only stayed in the 30s. Look at that. Aiden only hit a high of 35 degrees today. So that is just cold out there. But we do have fog moving in the valley. And we are going to see that thicken up just a little bit as we go into the overnight hours. Notice that time, 530 in in the morning, you're already seeing that light gray across the area. I don't think this fog is going to get very dense, but I do think it's going to be patchy and could impact you, especially if you're, you know, driving through fields with no buildings or going in a low-lying area. That fog could be a little worse uh, if you're near those locations. Uh, the fog could get a little worse, though, once that sun rises. I, I do think the farther south you go, the thicker that fog will be. So closer towards Sacramento, they might issue a dense fog advisory because of that fog. Uh, but once you get the farther north you go, the better your fog will probably be, and you're still going to see the fog in the Mountain Valley as well. Now, we do have other stuff on the way. That's going to start tomorrow. We have, there's a little bit of rain chance, but we're, we're not going to get wet in the afternoon. So we actually are going to get maybe even into the upper 50s for some of you, low 50s for others, 40s and 30s in the mountains. But that rain actually comes after sunset. It's all coming from a low pressure system that's going to move through our area with the cold front actually attached to it as well. It's going to bring heavy rain, heavy snow, and even the chance for some thunderstorms in your forecast. So let's go ahead and break it down for you. Look at your future cast. We could see a few light showers later this evening, so that's for tonight. That's also probably why the visibility is a little low right now. Some of you are seeing just a little bit of drizzle right now. Uh, but once we go into tomorrow, Tomorrow, we do have that chance of seeing some more showers towards the coast in the morning, and that actually moves into our northern counties in the afternoon. So even Redding could get, kind of get clipped by this, but anywhere south of Redding, you're going to be staying dry in the afternoon for tomorrow. However, once you go to tomorrow night, notice all that moisture coming in, all that green, all that yellow. That's all coming from that lit winter storm that will move through our area starting early, early in the morning on Monday, all the way through the day on Monday. So the heaviest stuff's actually going to come after sunrise. So, wow, look at that. I mean, look at that. Look at all the yellow. Look at all the, all the colors and stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty widespread as you go into Monday. And then, of course, once we go later into Monday, we're still going to see some of those showers, but they will eventually clear out by Tuesday. Now, what about your snow forecast? Well, here's your four regions. Just take a quick look for you. I did post this on social media, so make sure to follow my social media page uh, on Facebook or on Twitter at Weather Ramsey with one R. I did post this for you, so you can go ahead and look at that, but I'm expecting a couple feet of snow in the mountains. As for the valley, anywhere from half an inch to a couple inches of rain will be possible in the valley. As for tomorrow's day, though, it's Festival of Sleep Day, so you might as well stay inside anyway and, you know, catch a sleep like this cute little dog. Lunch is 55 degrees for tomorrow. As for your seven-day forecast, in Chico, high 58 degrees for today, 50, or for tomorrow, 54 for Monday. That winter storm coming on the way, bringing really windy conditions and a chance of thunderstorms. We're going to be a little drier on Tuesday with more rounds of rain Wednesday through Friday. As for Reading, high 52 degrees for tomorrow, getting windy and stormy on Monday with that winter storm. Once we go into Tuesday, looking to be a drier day, but rain returns on Wednesday. All right, thank you, Brian, and we will be back.